Okay, on this uh, third example, uh, slightly different as well from the previous one, where uh, on this particular example, we are not interested to get the reaction force at the wheel, but instead we we want to determine the reaction force uh, on uh, something else, okay, on the support structure, which here we call it a leg, okay, and uh, if you look here, there is a there is a truck which are going to the right, okay, let's draw our axis system, x, y, okay, this is our reference axis, it's going to the positive x direction, okay, as you can see, and as the truck is uh, moving or accelerating to this uh, direction, to the right, what happens is this object here, okay, uh, here is a 100 kg table, okay, the object here is a 100 kg table, and the center of mass is here, G. And this particular table will tend to uh, left behind or go that, that way, okay? That's normal. Just imagine that you are standing here at the back, okay? At the back of this particular lorry. And as the lorry uh, starting to move forward, and you might feel that uh, uh, your body initial is uh, uh, like to left behind. See, so the same thing is happen to this particular object at, at the back of this particular lorry. Uh, I'm really emphasize on that because of uh, this particular leg here, uh, B and A here, uh, there, there is a static friction, okay? And the value is 0 0.2, static friction. Otherwise, the table will left behind, okay? And on this uh, support at, uh, or leg, what we call it here, leg uh, AB, we have a, a reaction force. Uh, and A and also and B and on at this support structure uh, let's move it down a bit this support structure there will uh, friction force okay friction force and the, that particular and the friction force is in this direction. Here also. Okay, friction force at uh, A and uh, friction force at this point B here. Okay, let's move on to to solve this particular problem, we look into the x uh, direction. What we have in the x direction, we only have the friction force at point B and friction force at point A. Both are in the positive x direction, like so. Okay, so uh, as we know, the n, uh, sorry, the friction force is equal to mu n okay uh, either in the a, at a uh, at b or at a okay static friction force what happen if you have a kinetic friction you don't have the static friction but you only have the kinetic friction uh, as you know uh, if you have a kinetic friction uh, at some point this particular table will slowly rolling back and fall off this 
back of the lorry. So that's why here in this particular problem, we put the static friction. So to keep it uh, static at one point, okay? it's not moving anywhere. Okay. Uh, okay. As we can see here, we have the uh, friction force at point A and the friction force at point B, and that is equal the, to the uh, the mass of the table times the acceleration. This one of that. So now we have the first uh, equation. Then uh, how about the y axis where we have uh, reaction force and B and also an A here. And don't forget that we also have the weight which is uh, weight is equal to mg. Okay, this is the weight. And it is pointing downward, so therefore it is a negative. And the m times the acceleration in the y uh, axis, so there is no acceleration in that on that vertical component, so it is equal to zero. So um, next part is to calculate the moment at point G. Point G is our uh, center of rotation in this case. And it is equal to zero because uh, uh, the whole, uh, this particular table is not going to have any rotation at all. So that's why it is equal to zero. Uh, <clears throat> and we look into the the component uh, first uh, at point A where we have the mu times the N A that is that is the friction force here times uh, zero point seven five because we know that uh, from point A to G here. Here, it, the perpendicular distance is uh, 0 0.75. Okay, and then how about this? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that uh, CCW is a uh, positive. Eh? So, and A is making that direction. So, that's why it is a uh, positive. Then, how about the N uh, B? Sorry, uh, we're still on the point A, okay? Point A, uh, just now we look into this one, but now we want to look into this uh, NA here, which uh, going upwards, the reaction force A. And that is, uh, Equal, uh, the moment arm is, is going up there and it is the distance, 0 0.9 meter. Okay, okay, now we move to the point B. And point B, we have two uh, items or two elements here, which is the friction force at point B and also the normal uh, reaction force at point B pointing upwards. And uh, for the friction force at point B, it is uh, that way and the moment arm is 0 0.75. And the center, uh, if we look into this uh, system, it will tend to move that way. So it is positive. Okay, that's why it is a positive. Then, uh, the normal uh, force and B here is going upward and the distance is 0 0.6 okay as you can see it is making a clockwise clockwise so it is a negative motion and everything here is equal to zero now you have one two and three equation okay 
you have three equations with three unknowns, which is A, NA, and NB. And therefore, you can uh, solve these particular problems. And you will get an A equal to 294 Newton. And B is 687 Newton. And the acceleration A is 1.96 meter per second square. Okay. If the truck is going, uh, accelerating higher than this, for example, 1.97, what happens is, the stable will uh, slide to the back and at some point it will uh, fall off from this back of this particular lorry okay and if you look from this uh, point here since an a is positive the table will indeed slide before it tips. Okay, thank you.